a Vicksburg home catches fire and burns to the ground Wednesday afternoon when the owners left to grab some food. But as WJTV's Katie Rowe reports, he wants people to learn from his mistake to hopefully prevent this from happening to them. She joins us now live in Vicksburg. And Katie, what do you know about the cause of the fire? Melanie and Byron, all that is left is a shell of charred wood. And in this window is what used to be the living room. And on the front porch, most of the burned items are just unrecognizable, except for this kerosene heater, which is what fire officials are blaming this devastation on. Now they gone, the house gone, children gone. I'm the only one left here. What was once Alfred Gaskin's childhood home is now unrecognizable. But I look back on it, you know, it, it seemed like it was so simple. The how, how, how did this happen? Gaskin was living in this house with no electricity. So when the temperatures began to drop, he bought a kerosene heater to try and stay warm. When I left McDonald's, you know, I was feeling okay because I knew that when I get back, the room would be warm. When I left the heater, the heater was burning good, you know. I don't know what went wrong, but when I got back, the heater was on fire and the room was on fire. And all I could do was, was uh, get out, come out of the street, because it was so violent. Look, the fire was uh, just roaring, you know, and uh, but nothing I could do, but nothing I could say. When fire crews arrived, they worked to extinguish the fire, but the material the home was built out of caused the flames to grow, leaving Gaskin with the clothes on his back. It's like nowhere to go. You know, you're walking around, you want to go lay down or sit down, and you can't. And now he wants people to learn from his mistake. I warn people, you know, if you're going to mess with these kerosene heaters, you better know what you're doing. One thing I do know is that, like they say, this ain't going to happen to me. This ain't going to happen to me. This could happen to anybody. No one else was inside of the home when the fire started, and no one was hurt. For now, we are live in Vicksburg, Katie Road, WJTV 12.